brushes. Big part of the hobby. Not something that we like spending money on. We complain about Games Workshop brushes, we complain about expensive other brushes, but if you're gonna paint and you enjoy painting, then they're kind of important. Well, are they? Some people would say that you don't need the most expensive brushes to get the best results. And you know what, they're right. I use a load of cheap brushes and I get really good results. Now, as I've been painting a little bit more, a little bit more frequently, even though I look after my brushes, eventually, like anything, they wear out and we have to replace them. And well, I was looking for some alternatives. And well, I saw these. Chronicle Cards series of Sables Kalinske brushes. Now, previously, they'd done the Wolf Bristle brushes, and I hadn't picked any of those up, but they were kind enough to send me out one of the new pre-release Sable Hair brushes to take a look at. And well, that's what I'm gonna do. Full disclosure, I didn't pay for this brush, but they did send it out for me to have a look at with no assumptions. They haven't asked me to do a review of it or anything. Right, that being said, let's get into it. So, the folks over at Chronicle sent me one of their new sable hair brushes across to take a look at. And well, yeah, let's do that. So it came in this fine case. Let's get it out here and take a look. So this is their size one brush. The Farago, really nice construction. I'm loving the handle. This is absolutely, really one of the most comfortable brushes I've used. Take a look at the tip. Now looking at the tip here, nice clean point, decent size, good belly on it. And yeah, I mean, it, it's a brush, it feels nice. It's got a reasonable weight to it, not too light, not too heavy. So how does this compare to my normal brushes? Well, let's have a look what I normally paint with. Of uh, the Artis Opus, my daily driver, the Winsor & Newton Series 7, size one, and the good old Citadel base brush. And these three are all sable hair. So synthetic, these three, however, are all sable hair. This really is, it's not horses for courses. Now we've taken a look at this brush in comparison to similar ones from other manufacturers on the market. Let's have a look at how it performs in an actual painting situation. Now this is a little bit smaller than what I normally use, which like I said, is a Windsor & Newton Series 7 size three. This being a size one, um, it's the only one that Chronicle sent me across. So if you do want to see comparisons of some of the other brushes, do let me know. Well, I've printed out this test mimic. This is the standard model that I use for testing out any new techniques, any new brushes, paints, anything like that. So I've got loads of these laying around. And well, as you can see, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Brush control was absolutely fantastic. I mean, that handle really is just perfect. All paintbrushes should come with that design handle. The weight makes it really nice and balanced in the hand. Getting details and keeping that crisp point is absolutely a piece of cake, it's perfect. So one of the other things I like to do is to test brushes by seeing how much I can feather the tip, paint some lines, do some hatching, get that texture into the model as well. Um, I'm using some black Indian ink here. Um, I use this to panel line. So it's a really good indication of how fine control I can get on the brush. And this being a size one, you can get a remarkably fine line still. It's a really good quality, really good control. The tip just does not at all deteriorate. Um, also, there's a really good amount of bounce in the bristles for such a small brush as well. I was really surprised. I mean, overall, considering this is a budget-friendly brush, I'm really impressed with what the guys at Chronicle Cards have done. Well then, there you go. That's my quick overview of the Farago Size 1. Fingers crossed, I'm going to pick up some more of these. Um, if you do want to see another review, give me a shout and I'll have a chat with the guys at Chronicle Cards. If you want to pick one up yourself, there's a link in the description. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.